Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So, this is gonna be another digital speed paint, and it is me drawing the base slash body for a character design I did some time ago. Well, I don't really know when this video will come out, so I'll just assume that it's been a while since I posted the character design for it. But this is the body um, drawing face of Ken Orina. So, <clears throat> wow, my voice is rough. Um, so, I'll be... What's with my voice? Why is it so raspy? What's happening? Either way, um, I'll be posting the links to the videos for the character design down below. But this is like, take this as a warning right now, there will be naked bodies. Well, semi-naked because you'll be wearing underwear. But if you'll be uncomfortable watching a video with someone who's practically naked except for a strip of cloth around their groin, then you might want to watch this later. You know, like save it in your watch later playlist or something like that. But if you're fine with it, go ahead. So, with my character designs, I've been actually for the past, I don't know, couple of years since I did, started doing this, I've been trying to improve the process of the designing process and I didn't want it to be just a flat drawing and having to keep on repeatedly drawing the layers or you know like to do the breakdown so what I wanted to do was was to incorporate the breakdown and the actual outfits in one file so what I did is a sort of a dress up doll style or method so what I would do is I would draw the base body and then I would draw over the layers of clothing so each layer would define like each layer of clothing so if my character is wearing um, a shirt, pants, shoes, jacket, um, maybe gloves and a scarf it could result maybe in two layers of having in one layer like what I'm sketching right now is the base is the first layer which is like what would, they would wear plainly so this would consist usually of the shirt the pants and the shoes uh, sometimes there's a belt thrown in there for measure or anything that would be like the basic outfit so if you remove off the layers of the clothing this is the most basic they could be wearing that wouldn't leave them naked of course um, and then the second layer as you see right now I uh, know that's like the details the second layer oh here it is this I am, yeah. So this is the second layer, basically this would be like the coats, um, jackets, or maybe like, what do you call that, gloves, um, some accessories, what have you. Anything that is like an extra thing they would wear over, or anything that would complete, the, or anything that would be like, would be the complete outfit of sorts. And this would be the third layer where we usually add like tiny accessories, so for example, Kin wears a scarf, so he has the scarf there. If he wears earrings, maybe I'd put it there as well. Um, in his hair, he wears this like golden band where he would tie his hair, so that would be there as well. I also put the gloves on the third layer, I think. So that's how the system works. And I've been trying to find ways to improve the system and like minor adjustments, minor improvements like using a layer mask um, and stuff like that. So this is, this would, this particular video would include, um, as you saw, the sketching phase, uh, the line art phase for the body, and the coloring for the body. If you want to see me actually putting clothes on him, I would direct you to the videos that I mentioned earlier. But this is pretty fun because uh, usually, I can cover up mistakes and anatomy problems with clothes, especially like with feet, like they're my weakness. Um, but when I'm doing it in this dress up doll method, it gets really tough because, you know, it's just 
bodies and I couldn't do anything. I, I need to get it through as right as I can get it. Um, and yeah, I need to be careful about my proportions. Even if they're not perfect at the very least, somewhat passable. I need to know how muscles work, how they connect, where certain things go. And that's pretty tough. Um, I did take art classes before in college, but and we did do naked studies, but when you're trying to draw it just from imagination, even with posing dolls, it gets a little tough to try to imagine how certain things would work. Luckily, I do have a posing doll, the SH figure arts body kun. So I had that somewhat help me figure out how the proportions would look like if I wanted the pose to be like this. But it still isn't perfect, you know. So I did actually finish this drawing over a course of a lot of streams. So that's like every Saturday, I would stream, I would live stream me drawing the piece. And over the course of the streams, I would see like minor mistakes or like with the hair just now like it's too big it's too poofy it takes up too much space um I, I wanted to move the face a little bit or something like that so it really does help if you take a step back from your drawing for an hour or two it just so happens that i tend to either well no i, I like to get things done or i want to see the finished product as fast as i can so usually I tend to just go all in and try to finish everything in one go. The fault or the flaw in that is that I do miss out on a lot of problems and I would only see them when I'm done, when I've taken a step back. So for this particular piece, I was lucky that it usually take it really usually it really usually takes such a long time to finish a character design or outfit design session that I would have no choice but to step back and you know go to sleep or go to work and stuff like that so when I come back I can always see problems for example with that foot that you saw earlier the one that's bent um in the first video for the outfit design I did fix that foot to make it you know not broken but sadly I just left it there I didn't want to edit it back in here so you'll have to watch that if you want to see the difference haha <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if it's correct, but I think Kin's entire character design session is one of the longest that I did. Because uh, with Serial, I was able to fit his entire outfit design in one video. Um, Seiyan took two, Jam took one, because I guess at the time. My footage didn't really record everything. Yeah, I think to date, among the more modern character designs, Kin took the longest. I think mainly because I was being a bit more careful and I've been putting in a lot more detail with the line art, with the coloring, so I did take up so much time just to finish him and I ended up with so much footage, it's crazy. But it was fun. I really do in. I really did enjoy, I really do enjoy actually character design sessions or outfit designs rather. So I, I, I think I missed out a lot of footage of coloring. I don't know what happened. Uh, the files like, stopped working at that point so I just had to cut it out and skip to whatever file was usable. So I did miss out a bit on the base bucking out of colors but there isn't much to lose anyway. Um, I just colored in the skin, and I'm coloring in the hair. That's basically it.
so we get to actually coloring the body so yeah <laughs> um yeah <clears throat> So I do imagine Ken to be somewhat well toned. Um, he's a dragon. On top of that, he actually fights and he wields a land. So I imagine him to actually have a lot of muscle tone on him. Um, I imagine him to be like the slim type, but because he is a soldier of sorts, he does have that muscle mass on him. Um, I think most of my characters do, since a lot of my characters are fighters or soldiers or warriors so a lot of them have to have that like six pack type body and I think I need to break out of it a little break out of it but yeah for a couple of characters it can't be helped you know <laughs> it's totally not just my preference you know uh, okay fine it is well whatever so what I did take a lot of care with the drawing with skin and even cereal for that matter is I'm trying to define shapes and muscles I guess for this in this case I'm trying to draw shapes a lot more just using color and I try to define and create a more natural looking play of shadows and highlights using color so because you know in real life not all shadows are blended out into this smooth gauge and, and for example yeah simply by somewhat closing your hand a little you can see the shadows are sharp so i've been trying to implement that a bit more in my drawings and not smoothing everything out and of course since there's a light source you know, it's not really visible you don't really know where it's coming from i don't know where it's coming from either but there is a light source and I'm trying to implement that also to create depth in the body. Even though it's not an intense light source, it does still make a difference in differentiating the base color from something that's actually protruding a little bit. So for example, with his cheek and his nose, those will catch light of course. So by adding a very faint highlight, it gives it a bit more pop. And these are things that I wish I actually took or paid attention to sooner but hey I'm doing it now and I'll do my best to keep on doing it in the future one of my favorite parts actually in drawing is hair um, it's a bit it takes a long time to do but it usually turns out really nice Anyway, we're doing the end of the videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more anime, fan art, character design, chat, watercolor, whatever. Art, just art in general for me. Please subscribe. Um, I'll be posting here the, what you that? the thumbnails to the character design videos. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, DeviantArt. And I'll see you around.